What's up guys, back for another Star Wars video and we now have the information for Linksha's light cone and the new Moe's light cone. Well, Moe's is on the light cone. We don't know if it's his yet because they did a funny thing with the March light cone and one, she couldn't even use it and two, it was really not for her too much, right? Uh, it just was like a support light cone and well, yeah, she is a support. She also kind of wants to do her own damage, right? So it wasn't too crazy for her. I mean, she couldn't even use it though. That's the main thing. So we'll see if it's really Moses light cone. Uh, I did not do a kit video because Link Show was actually in the game. I plan to do a like a funny, oh, I used her early video because you could use her as a trial character. And I just sure forgot to do that because I was more focused on doing other videos. So whoops on me there. I'm sure that would have actually did really well, but yeah i'll probably just do it should you summon and then go over a kit there uh she's she's a break effect healer shocker i know you know um pretty much like a five star gallagher uh but let's go over her light cone right let's see what it does so scent alone stays true abundance five star all that stuff the effect is increase the wearer's break effect by 60 percent after the wearer uses their ultimate attack to uh ultimate to attack enemy targets inflict the targets with the wolf free state lasting for two turns while in wolf free enemy targets take 10 percent increased damage the effect of the increased damage taken is additionally boosted by eight percent if the wearer current break effect is 150 or higher so basically you need 90 percent break effect to uh, get to proc that's not too bad because you get 60 so you'd only need 90 more after that plus this is actually the, this is actually pretty good light cone this is probably gallagher's best light cone so if you really like gallagher and you really like to break team summoning for this light cone for gallagher isn't a bad option plus when you use oh wait no, yeah, ultimate attack. Yeah, I was going to say, wait, 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 because there, there is the after the worries, they're also to attack enemy targets. This means that the characters who can use this are, you can't use it on Natasha, you can't use it on Bailu, you can't use it on Lynx, you can't use it on, actually, no, you can't lose it on, you can't lose it on Ho Ho. So you can use this on Luocha, Gallagher, and Lynxia. Very interesting. The reason I bring those up is because this is a 10% increased damage, meaning if you are running a different team that's not break, you can still get a damage boost from this. It would kind of suck if it was increases break damage by 10% and then an additional 8%. But since this is just increased damage, if you want to run Linksia as a sustain on whatever team, right, which will go really well, she's an extremely good sustain, you just get the damage boost, right? So let's say you wanted to run her on a follow-up because you don't have adventure, right? You'd run like March, Linksia, Feijiao, Robin, right? When you ult with Linksia, even though it's like all the break effect stuff is supposed to be, you know, she's supposed to be for break, you getting the 10% damage increase is actually kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie. So this is a pretty decent light cone. Nothing too crazy, but if you have the light cone, it's, it's just a W, right? Now... Uh, one thing I do want to say is it does suck that you have to attack the enemy target, meaning if you don't have an attacking ult, this light cone is pretty much just dead for you. So if the next break effect healer comes out and they don't attack, they can't use this, which is unfortunate because it is kind of nice if you have a light cone, you can just slap them on another character. For example, um, running, wanting effect hit rate on... Um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on his name. On Jiao Q, if you had Black Swans, you could use that. If you have Jiao Q's Light Cone and you wanted Black Swan, you could use that on Black Swan, right? So it's kind of nice to have Light Cones that actually work with other characters that are five star ones and not just like tailor made for it, whatever, if it affects it. Um, so that does kind of suck. But otherwise, very good Light Cone. Uh, let's go over the Moe's one now. It's the Hunt, Shocker there, Shadowed by the Night. Increase the Wear's Break Effect by 28%, okay? When entering battle or after dealing break damage, okay, increases speed by 8% last for two turns, effect can only be triggered once per turn. Really? This is just a boot hell light cone. What? It has nothing to do with most. Most doesn't want break effect. Don't do that. What is with them making light cones with a character on it for the four stars and then having it have nothing to do? Like, at least it's hunts. We can't equip it if you're running like break mo's, right? Uh, but increase the words break effect 20%. W, boot hell wants that. And then you get speed upon entering battle or dealing break damage by 8%. Pretty, I think what I'll do is I'm going to do a multi on the light cone banner and see if I can pull this. Because even at S1, 
this is a big boost not only in stats from the three star one i'm using but the three star one i'm using gives him speed after he kills an enemy this one is giving him break effect off rip for free and then speed by basically existing as Buddha, like just dealing break damage which is not too hard and even if you get into a scenario where you can't inflict break damage you have two turns to do it before the speed buff runs out that's pretty nice then the other two light comes on the banner are the um outgoing healing 10 percent when you use a skill you restore energy and then the one where it deals more damage same type yada yada right so these two are like whatever this one though if you use boot hill and you really like using boot hill and you don't have his light cone i highly recommend throwing a multi or two at this light cone banner to try to get this light cone because this is going to be probably boot hill's second best in slot considering his second best in slot is the speed one uh but yeah this is really nice i can't imagine what it is at s5 i'm assuming this is probably going to be up in the 40s and this might be up in like 15 16 knowing how the percents work in this game but i mean that's nice like i i'm going to be hoping i pull this light cone every multi now like screw getting the four star character that's not Moe's, right because i still need four copies i ended up getting e2 so i'll probably have a showcase on it like a true showcase at e2 what i recommend everyone getting if you want to use Moe's. Um, out at some point but this light cone is so good for boot hill i gotta get this right i i might accidentally pull lingsha's light cone trying to get this light cone for him uh but yeah then that's pretty much gonna be it for the video um characters who can use this light cone that aren't boot hill are uh <laughs> um nobody that i can think of at the moment uh our break units are firefly which is destruction and we have boot hill which is hunt we have harmony mc ruin may gallagher link chia uh jue which is destruction misha who isn't hunt i'm forgetting what misha is i'm pretty sure misha's or er, er, destruction as well yeah, destruction as well we have luca who's in the hillity and then we have who's the other break unit i can't remember i don't I, there, there, like there really is nobody all the break units are not hunt so yeah this is why did they put i just wanted to know like why did they put Moe's on it like it, he looks raw as fuck in this but it's literally just boot hill light cone this is just free to play boot hill light cone okay whatever anyway um this light cone is very strong if you are running Linksia or Gallagher I highly recommend grabbing it especially if you don't want to summon for Linksia because you have E6 Gallagher uh, but you want a bonus this is definitely a nice nice upgrade for Gallagher if you have the spare jades I would recommend grabbing this it's not a bad pickup but other than that let me know in the comments if you're summoning or not I should have the Sid you summon for Linksia up in the next few days so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss on that. And of course, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.